United States Military Academy are about to exit the helicopter junction. The jumper has exited the aircraft. And the third jumper is away. And there is the black and gold canopy. And the red, white, and blue canopies of the Black Knights of the Hudson, the parachute demonstration team of the United States Military Academy. They will be setting up for a landing right on a show center. As you watch them come down, you will see that their hands are raised up around their shoulders. They will be using steering lines attached to that wing-shaped canopy, that rectangular canopy. And if you look closely at that nylon canopy, you'll see that it's actually made up of a series of tubular shells lying beside each other from front to back. Seven cells or nine cells or five cells making up this fabric wing. It's a flexible wing glider, if you will. And by pulling down on the left steering lines, they are able to make the parachute turn sharply to the left, just as you're seeing the black and gold canopy doing right now. They stop it by releasing that line. They can change the descent rate of the parachute by pulling down on both steering lines simultaneously. And you'll see them do that as they set up for their landing. They will drive toward the airport now using the forward velocity of that parachute, which has a forward speed of some 22 to 25 miles per hour. Right now they're using the wind to help move them back toward the target area, plus the forward speed of the parachute. The black and gold one making some steep spiraling turns that allows them to lose a lot of altitude quickly without much speed or distance covered across the ground. Now you see how fast they're actually moving with the wind aloft of about 20 miles an hour or 15 miles an hour, the forward speed of the parachute about 20 miles an hour. They're moving about 35 miles an hour across the ground to drive their way back to the landing area. Staff Sergeant Mike Ricklefs with the yellow and black canopy. Now watch as he makes a right hand turn. He'll pull down on his, with his right arm, he'll pull down on the right steering line and turn that parachute into the direction of the wind. Now watch as he evenly pulls down on these lines to change the descent rate and slow down his rate of descent till just before landing he'll pull them all the way down and so, ah, okay. Should have pulled them all the way down, it would have been put on the brakes a little bit more, but there he is right in front of us. And here it comes with the POW MIA flag, Staff Sergeant Johnny Gallos. There's full brakes coming on as he increases his rate of speed and uses that as he eases it on down to a perfect stand-up landing right at the target area. And bringing in the American flag, Staff Sergeant Mike Rook with 1,400 freefall parachute jumps. Cellular shape. You see about half brakes, now no brakes, now brakes coming on. And look at him stop beautifully and keeping the American flag right off the ground. The members of the Black Knights of the Hudson. Members of the parachute team of your United States Military Academy at West Point. A beautiful precision job. As our members of the Black Knights of the Hudson get our air show off to its, its official start, let me introduce myself. My name is Larry Rudd. It will be my pleasure to be describing the aerobatic events to you and the aerial events here today at the New York International Air Show at the Stewart International Airport.